All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Jigging with Worms. Tell we're out here a little earlier today, and uh, it's a teeny bit colder. It's uh, 48. Then riding up here, we had a 17 mile an hour wind in our face the whole way. So we were in our heavy jackets, but it'll be back up in the 80s. Only in South Alabama can you start the day and freeze your butt off, and then by lunch you're swatting mosquitoes. So, but we actually saw two deer coming up here it's a uh, acorns are starting to drop I guess they started back it's been three weeks ago I guess is when I first started noticing but they're falling good now and uh, here in the Delta usually you got your river and then you'll have some high ground on the river bank and then it sloughs off into the inside and it's all interior tupelo swamps uh, so all your mass trees are right there on the river bank so on a cool day like today you got deer moving the cool weather's had them up on their feet in daylight hours and they're pretty pretty visible uh so i done marked a few on my my gps so that uh hopefully come deer season next weekend i got some leads but we're just gonna jig with worms and then sarah we wanted to stop a little short of where we've been fishing because since we've been seeing deer there were two spotted fawns last time we fished up in here that their mama had hit on the bank they still got their spots on them uh so we're gonna be quiet and see if we can't find them so. mm, got him catfish i think what we got what we got what we got 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 what we got what we got what we got 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 what we got, what we got, what we got, got, boom. Little we'll drag there. Bump it up a clip. Ooh. He feisty. He's a feisty boy. I say, just hide. Look, no, 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 reel, reel up that slide. What we got? Quit. I know, I know you're a catfish. I know you are. You're not special. What is he, Mama? Hey. Yeah, there he goes. Bending that rod. Yeah. You're not special. Come here. Woo, he thinks he's special, though. Look at that rod. Get your panties on Yeah, no, nah, he's for a channel cat. There we go. Finally. On the board. Healthy channel catfish. Let him go. Still got my worm too. Red headed woodpecker. Bump. Bump in the boat. Carpet is bad for one day. Fish. Fish. Uh, cool. Catfish. Yeah, catfish are fine. Catfish lives matter. A little bitty guy. Why? Well, Oh man, I'll, I'll take catching a fish. I didn't say I was gonna unhook your fish. You unhook your fish, woman. Uh, okay. 
Crawfish? One. Yeah. Little bitty catfish. No? I thought it was a bass. Look at that. Look at that. Look at A little dollar bill bass. Look at that. I didn't even know he was on there hooked. He tried to get my worm though. Yeah. Get that bad boy mounted up on the wall, baby. Get out of there. Alright, I'm gonna switch since we caught a bass. Here, trade me that, uh. No sense. It's trying the same thing over and over well, and over. Caught a pretty. A little slower. Oh! <laughs> the very first cast. <laughs> Switched over to the old redfish magic. Caught a bass on the first cast. Uh-uh. Where are you out a little? Cause you're trouble. <laughs> All right, let's just take it, man. Oh yeah. Look at there. Look at there. This is one of my favorite lures. You can get them at Walmart. Get them about anywhere. Just as an all-purpose lure. Bass, grunnel. I've caught catfish. They sell it as a saltwater fish lure. Little old bitty bass. This thing right here, very first cast. It's a, uh, like I said, they, they call it a redfish magic. And what it basically is, it's the big boy version of a beetle spin. Uh, it's got that big fat gold spoon on it. And then you got a, uh, if you want to make them yourself, that's a uh, Z-Man diesel minnow. That's the funky chicken color or electric chicken. And then they're just little. You can get them either an eighth or quarter ounce Strike King jig heads. I think that's an eighth of an ounce Strike King jig head. Um, but that's a good little lure. Especially in here, stained water. That big fat gold spoon. Something about it is magic. Let's see if there's another one up in there. You can retrieve it slow. Which may be the name of the game today. Slow roll it. You can feel that big old wobble, 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 wobble. And that spoon and those uh, those Z-Man plastics. I didn't start fishing them until recently, but they're uh, they're real uh, real real tough. Got a lot of stretch to them. I like I like them. Where they uh, oh, that's right where I want to cast though. Got him. Yep. I knew there's one up in there. Yeah. Come here. Oh. What have we? It's a decent shoe pick, I think. Yeah. Go ahead and get him up in the boat. Baby, get the up in that. Yeah. There we go. Get to, so you can see the lure in him. That's him. Something about that gold spoon and that slow retrieve on that little redfish magic. They like that. And it's a good shoe pick lure because some Strike King jigs are sharp. And it's got a big stout hook on it. But they like it. That's a cool fish. You want him? You want to hold him? Okay. No, sounds good. Let him go. Eat some more fish. Oh. <laughs> Little head shaker. There we go. Why is he even hooked? Hooked in the bottom of the jaw. 
another little Mobile Tensaw Delta Bass. I ain't winning no tournaments with them, but they sure do like the they like the the funky chicken. But they like the chicken whatever that's called because they like that. That's about the biggest alligator I've seen up here.